and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we're going to continue exploring Spanish style thirds. S try saying that three times fast. Spanish style thirds, Spanish style thirds, Spanish style thirds. Now your turn. Right, so we were concentrating on A. Okay, A major and A minor. And in the previous lesson, we explored thirds on strings two and three. Now we're gonna go to strings one and two and explore thirds there. So you start with, okay, if you're on A minor, you start with zero and one on strings one and two. Okay, this is of course A minor. Okay, so, okay, you play the A bass whenever you want. Now, the next third would be one and three, okay, which is D minor, okay, and D minor also contains an A note, so this is D minor over A. Then you can play three and five, okay, which is basically A minor seven, so, okay, so it's zero, one, one and three, three and five. And then we have five and six and seven and eight. But of course you don't have to play them in sequence. have A minor again on 8 and 10. So um, the next one, just to complete the fretboard, would be 10 and 12. Okay, so it's... Okay, I don't remember which song this is, but this is the logic behind thirds. Okay, you can just play you know, one after the other. You don't have to play them. You don't have to play them together. You can alternate. Okay? Now, this is where it gets interesting because with thirds, you can mix minor and major. And if we want a major, it's gonna be zero and zero, which are a fourth, it's not really a third. Um, so you can do zero and two, which is A major, okay? But you can also do zero and zero. Okay, for an interesting uh, fourth injected in there, okay? But if you want a third, it's zero and two. And then it's two and three. And then it's four and five. Okay, so it's exactly the opposite, okay, the, the, it's the second third, okay, you have a third with two frets apart, you have a third with one fret apart, so it's the opposite. In minor, you had two frets apart, in major, you have one fret apart, okay, and then it's the opposite again, it's five and seven. and seven and nine, okay? So in major, you have a minor third, then you have major third, major third, then minor third, minor third, okay? And then, of course, you have a major third again on, ten, on nine and 10, okay? Whereas in minor, okay, if you want a minor, you have exactly the opposite. You start with a major third, then you have two minor thirds, then you have two major thirds, okay? Then you have a minor third again. So it's exactly the opposite. So if you do all of them in sequence, okay, you, you can do this. Okay, and then you have...
Now, granted, just playing it like this, okay, just as plain chromatics doesn't really make any good music, okay? But if you use this tool, okay, in a smart way, in, a, in moderation, then it can surprise the listener. First of all, you can mix the two scales. because it creates something unexpected. And it really doesn't matter where you change the scale, okay? Okay, I just changed from four and five to three and five. Okay, as long as it has rhythm, it works. But, can mix and then you can change yeah you can change I started with major I continued with minor at least they think I did I was just going by ear I started with major, I ended up with minor. And then you can just go. Okay. Um, you can just use the chromatics, but you can use them in an interesting rhythm. Again, it was the same thing. It was four and five and then three and five. Then it was two and three and then one and three. The previous time I did it, I ended on A minor. Okay, so I did this. This time I ended on A major. It really doesn't matter. As long as you can hear it, you can play it. Okay, which is what my ear training course uh, program teaches you to do. Okay, in case you missed it, there's a 25% discount on all my courses for the summer. So uh, go to lickandref.com slash courses and check it out. Okay, all my courses, all 14 courses, right? So check it out. Hey, you see, you can just build harmonized solos. I played the same line and I changed from a major third to the minor third, okay? Um, I played A and then I played D, which is two and three, and then I played E major, which is four and five. And then I did it again with E minor, with three and five. And you can do it with every third. Okay? Here I change it from A major to A minor. Okay? 9 and 10 to 8 and 10 and I played the, the, th the same thirds around it, okay? It's all a matter of what sounds good to you. So explore and be creative and check out lickandrev.com slash courses and um, check them out. I have the best advanced guitar courses around. Okay? The Break Your Boundaries course program. Right now there are 14 courses waiting for you in the course program and I'm releasing a new one every single month. Okay, so check it out. Lickandref.com slash courses. I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye for now. Have fun.